we are going to be talking about the most popular thing on my channel, and that is dogging on Logitech G Hub. A common theme with big companies is to release really garbage software with a really decent product. Like they just want you hooked on. And for some reason you can sign up and make an account for something that works whether you give them your email or not. Based off that concept alone, it's pretty terrible already. And with such an awful software comes a lot of people complaining about it. And the number one place to complain about it is Reddit. Why is G-Hub so dog shit? The G-Hub is making me want to die. G-Hub is the worst piece of software on my computer. My install of G-Hub has been broken for literal years. G-Hub stuck and loading when opening app. I hope bans Texas. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that's too relevant. But yeah, this is recent too. This this one is two months ago and has 129 upvotes. Even on my old videos, in the comments section, there's people telling their life story about how G-Hub isn't working for them. Besides G-Hub being trash, Logitech support for G-Hub is also completely useless. I've lost count of how many times I've talked to them and only found solutions after hours of research on Reddit or old YouTube videos. They even deleted one of my conversations with them I did over my account on their website. They even deleted one of my conversations conversations with them I did have over my account on their website. It was simply Oh, I was trying to click that. I thought I thought you could expand it. And the reason why so many people know about G <laughs> The reason why so many people know about G Hub is because in the manual that comes in the box, part of the essential steps like plugging it into your computer and turning it on, the third step is to go to Logitech and download G Hub. Guess what? They don't care. They know the average consumer is just gonna Google gaming mouse buy this piece of garbage, download their software, and just leave it on there. But that's enough talk. It's been three years since I made that video. Let's see how much changed about G-Hub. Okay, that's good. I mean, at least long. Okay, so I got two Logitech mice plugged in right now. I got the G502 and the G303 Shout Edition, which I can't use unless I update it. I can't even access it. And even though it's not a big deal to update it, they're still forcing me to update it before I can use it. This is my product. I just want to use it. What happened to getting something out and it working straight out of the box? One thing I found out is if you, you know, want to edit your mouse or anything like that and you close out, there's a pop-up. At least this stuff isn't on the home screen, but I literally could care less about this. Let me make my mouse rainbow. I don't want any of this. And I mean, when you use the software itself, it explains you every single process. Issues people have are it not working. The issue I have right now is not being able to use it at all on this mouse because I have to update it. I mean, there's just a lot of bloat for no reason. Do I have the solution for you? Onboard Memory Manager, which is tucked under the Logitech support page. The download is in the description. And once you download it, it's amazing. Everything is confined on one screen. Look, here's my G303 Shroud. Here's my G502. And guess what? I can switch to my G303 Shroud. I can assign different functions of buttons. I can change the polling rate, I can change the DPI, and I don't even have to update it. This software is way more streamlined and way more easy to use. The only gripe though is that settings will not take effect until the device is switched to onboard mode within GeoB. And now all the settings I save, whatever I change, will be saved onboard to the mouse. And after you download the software, you can uninstall GeoB. I saw a lot of comments about that. People are so worried about the software breaking their accessories that they think if they uninstall it, the CEO of Logitech is going to come to their house, put him in a chokehold, and make him say uncle. That won't happen. You can uninstall it after you, you enable onboard memory mode. You don't have to worry about pop-ups. You don't have to worry about it running in the background, which for some reason it does. I mean, I've never had any issues with G-Hub because I've, I've never installed that garbage on my computer until now, and I'm probably going to uninstall it after this video. My proposal to you, Logitech, is to fix it. How do you fix it? You know this pamphlet I was complaining about earlier? You see right here? Logitech.com slash G-Hub, just add a second link for Onboard Memory Manager below it and everything's fine. People don't know about Onboard Memory Manager because it's tucked away on your website and you don't advertise it on purpose, but you should. It's a good piece of software. Uh, I'm starting to do YouTube more. I'm doing shorts, so subscribe and like the video.